K123LED. Howdy folks, a little project today to address a question I've been getting a number of people have asked uh, regarding the XK K123 helicopter and that is can you put a light in it? A lot of people notice it's got that little port in it same as the K124 and the answer is yes. You can buy the K124 light separately it comes with the wire and the little three millimeter white LED and as we see here we'll just plug it into this little rascal easier said than done and we'll throttle up so you can certainly plug a light into here now you could put it up in the nose just like in the K124 however I'll tell you right now this has become a huge pain in the butt uh, I've ripped the wiring out twice now uh, because when you're pulling this on and off, you know, this is being fatigued, it's being pulled, and eventually the wire snaps off. I've resoldered it, I've put uh, heat shrink on, and a little more hot glue, and that's helping. But eventually this is going to crack off again. And when it does, I'm going to put lights elsewhere. But we're talking about the K123 today. I just want to show you how you can hook lights up to this one. If you want to just use a single white LED, it's really simple. You can just plug it in because this, uh, the voltage in here is already capped to run a, uh, a white LED, which uh, the forward voltage on them is about 3 volts. And if you want other colors, you have to use a resistor. But I'm going to put in two LEDs so you can see how that's done. And again, just to give you ideas. To do this, uh, you're going to need a few parts and you are going to need soldering skills. So as far as parts go, first thing of course is the plug. Now this is a Molex Pico blade. These are often confused with JST-SH plugs, but they are not. It's a Pico blade. Pin spacing is a 1.25 millimeter pitch. I'm going to have links to all this stuff below in the description, but you can find this stuff online pretty much anywhere. Uh, next thing of course is our LEDs. This is a neat little set that I use for projects. Uh, it comes with you know, five different colors, red, yellow, white, green, and blue, and you've got the two sizes, three millimeter and five, and we're going to be using the three millimeter on this small heli. Now you can also get flashing uh, LEDs, you can look that up online, and that might just dress it up a little bit more. You know, you could have the uh, little belly LED flashing like a strobe light, and then still have the white one back here on solid, or you could get a flashing one for it as well. And we're going to need some wire. I just use uh, magnet wire. Uh, this is often called enameled wire. It's insulated with a thin insulation and it's very light. This is 30 gauge. You could even go a little bit smaller, but uh, you know, this is about as small as I like working with. And the reason I don't use an insulated wire uh, is just for weight savings. You know, this is very light. And then the other thing we're going to need, because we are running a red LED, but we can run a white direct but we can't run a red it would burn it out so for the red LED I've got a 51 ohm quarter watt resistor and I'm not going to get into how that's calculated you can look it up online so let's get started to do this we're gonna to have to take the mechanics out first so we've got the three screws on each side we've got to take the landing struts off so two more screws and there's also this little carbon bar that we've got to take out and we've got to unplug the tail rotor motor plug. I'm just going to get that all out. We'll come back. The screws all out. This should just pop out here. Oops. There we go. So now that we've got access to that, we can figure out how we have to build our little wiring harness. Now, on the AS350, uh, the red belly light is usually uh, right under, right about in this location. Now, of course, we can't mount it there. We've got, you know, the mechanics are sitting right there. So that's why we're going to have to mount it further back, you know, back here. So that's where our red one's going to be. You could also mount it on the top, however. So that's up to you. Uh, you could run two, in fact. I'm a little leery of how much current this little thing can pass, so that's why I'm just sticking with the white LED and the red. 
and we're going to put a white LED back here. And to do that, we're also going to have to take the screws out of this tail fin. And we had to take those screws out so we can pull this apart. Now for the hole, I'm going to be using my Dremel with a uh, three millimeter grinding stone. And we'll just grind a hole through the end of the tail boom here and then up through the uh, center of the belly. Now again, this is just to give you ideas. You certainly don't have to put the lights where I'm putting them on mine. So we've just got our Dremel out here and just get our hole in there. sure we've made it big enough for the LED to fit yes we're probably going to well this is the red one but we're going to put a white in there we may have to grind the edge that little lip edge of the LED off for it to fit and now the belly one if you didn't want to put it on the top the uh, full-size AS 350s I've never seen them up here on the top of the doghouse but I could be wrong you want to make sure that the light isn't going to hit anything and the mechanics, again, that's why we can't put it in the usual location that they are on the A3, AS350. So we're going to have to put it behind this, uh, behind this hole here. I'm going to go midway between where the hole is, the landing strut hole, and the tail boom start. So we'll go roughly in the middle here. Go right on the seam. Hole up. And get another LED out. Just make sure it fits. Yep. So I almost screwed up here. I almost drilled through the snap pin. So now that we've got that done, we've got to build our little wiring harness. To build our wiring harness, we're going to have to basically have enough wire length to go from the tail up to somewhere around here where we transition to our plug. Figure that out and then same for the little bottom one. Now as far as wiring up your harness and wiring the LEDs, I'm just going to zoom in on these little guys real quick. If you are not too familiar with uh, how to wire an LED, these are polarity sensitive, meaning you have to wire them with negative to negative and positive to positive. The way to tell that, there's several ways. Uh, the negative lead will always be the shorter one when you get a new LED. So we would run our positive to this lead and the negative to this one. Another way to tell is on the LED, the, there will be a flat on the negative pin. Now we can't, I don't know if, there, you can see the flat there. So that's another way to tell. And then even if you look inside the LED, come on, focus, you bastard, uh, the negative will have the bigger uh, metal component than the uh, positive. I thought I'd just show the little white LED real quick. So I've soldered on the uh, winding or magnet wire. I'm going to, oh, and I've also ground off that little rim on the edge so it will fit into the tail boom fine. And I've got heat shrink on here that we're going to be putting on. Uh, to both insulate these ends and add a little strain relief for the wire. If you've never worked with uh, magnet or winding wire before, you don't have to mechanically remove the polymer insulation. The easiest way that uh, I do it, I just melt some solder on the end of my soldering iron and hold it onto the end of the wire where you want to solder it and it will melt off the uh, polymer insulation. And here's our red LED with the current limiting resistor soldered in. Doesn't matter if it's on the negative or positive, I've got it on the negative. Put heat shrink over these to insulate them and add some strain relief to the wire. And we'll wire them in parallel to the to our Pico blade plug. This is quite important. Our little Pico plug, you have to check the polarity, and the polarity is actually backwards of how these are wired when you know you can only plug them in one way 
uh, because there's little orientation tabs on the plugs. We've got our multimeter hooked up here, so we've got the positive to the red wire, the negative to the black, and when we power it up, see we're getting negative voltage. So the positive is actually in the negative, and the negative is the positive. So when you hook up your LEDs, make sure your negative is to the red wire and the positive is to the black. Okay, I'll show you what I've got done here so far. So we've got the white on the long one that's going out to the bottom back of the tail boom, and then the red that's going on the belly. We've got the negative and the negative hooked together, and the positive and the positive hooked together. So these are wired in parallel. And of course the current limiting resistor is already on the red one. So we're just going to uh, hook these up to our Pico blade plug. Now remember, uh, we had determined that the negative is actually the red wire and the positive is the black. So I've put heat shrink tube on already. And just to help aid in remembering that, I've got the red on the black and the black heat shrink tube on the red. So just solder these on real quick. So the negative is this one here. So we're going to be soldering that to the red wire. Just quickly dab that. And then the positive is going to the black wire. Okay, and we'll just get the heat shrink tube on. And before fitting the lights into the K123, we will plug it into the board and just make sure they're working. So we've got them plugged in. Let's see if they come on with throttle. And there we go. So now we're going to fish them into the helicopter body. This could be a little bit challenging. And I'm probably going to hold them in just with a little dab of hot glue. And that way, if I ever had to take them out, you know, if I have to replace the fuselage or whatever, uh, I could just heat the hot glue up a little bit to soften it to get the LEDs out. Fishing that light through there was no small task. I actually had to uh, partially open up the boom. There's so little room where the motor is. Uh, that I couldn't pass the LED through so I had to split open the entire bottom of the boom you know there's a little locating pin there and one up here had to get them far enough apart so I could get the wire over those pins and out through the back there's our back LED glued in with a little hot glue and the belly LED down there again glued in with a little bit of hot glue and just loaded the wiring over and put it under the little piece of tape that was already there holding the tail motor wiring in. I'll get the mechanics back installed and go for a test flight. Quick note on the mechanics, the motor wire, which is this one right here, make sure you do get it over that little pin before you remount it, otherwise this could this will move back and it will rub on the pinion gear, or at least it has the potential to. So if we uh, we just get it over that pin before we mount it in. There's no chance of it rubbing that. And same with this wire, your, your battery wire. Try to get it on this side of the pin so there's less chance of it moving backwards and rubbing on the main gear. So yeah, you know, you could put a blinking LED in on the bottom. It would probably uh, make it look better. That uh, one on the back is almost too bright. Of course, you could fire a resistor in, you know, on that circuit as well. Or you could have that one as a blinker. So again, this is just to give you ideas. I landed on this little snow mound. Drop off the heli skiers. Pick up the heli skiers. Cheers, folks. Happy night flight. <laughs>